Okay, this is Rob at Reason101.net, and I'm going to continue now with um, creating some different effects for my uh, OctoKong scene selector. Um, I have the effects here, and I actually have one too many, I think. I've got one, two, three, four, five, and then, yeah, so we're not going to need this. So let's just delete the device. Let's delete that last screen. Now we've got five effects here. We've got the reverb, we've got the two delays, which I'm counting as one, so that's two. Then uh, we've got the phaser, which is three, the scream, which is four, and the chorus flanger, which is five. Now number six is going to be just the original that's coming through. Actually number one will be the original, but um, yeah, essentially you get the idea. The five effects will be going into the five different channels. So now what we're going to have to do is with these spider audios you're gonna to have to start routing things up so this is gonna go into the audio input this is gonna go into the output I'll just move this over here for now because this is gonna go straight into the output um, one of these is gonna actually have to go over here I'm gonna send another one into the left except the right is gonna go here then we've got the right output for the delay left output okay take another audio in here go into the phaser and then out to number four take another audio going into the scream and then back out to channel number five and then finally number six is going to be our chorus and flanger and that is going to go out to number six here okay now we've got the master outs so going back out again We've got our trigger, okay, going in. So that should do it. Now let's just bundle these up and we'll hear how they sound. Okay, let's flip it around. I'll keep that open for now. And what I'm also gonna do, I'm just gonna move this mixer up for now so that you can see what exactly is going on. Move the mixer over here. So now when you play a loop, it's actually playing two, and I don't know why that is. Oh, I know why. Okay, hang on a second. Thors have to all... No, not those Thors. Whoops. My Thors down here have to be set exactly right. If they're off a little... See, this is starting on three, this is on six. So we need to send this back to number one. So if we just stop this... Okay, just reset them. So set that on number one, and then use six. So now they're both starting on number one, and that's what you want to have. I kind of forgot to mention that. Okay, let's close that, and again, let's uh, play one of these. Oh, we have to have the run button on, so run the pattern devices. Okay, so now we've got an actual loop going through. Now you can see it's coming out, which the original audio is over here. If you press pad number 16, we've got a reverb. Okay, press it again. We have our two delays that are going through. Press it one more time. We have our phaser. One more time, we've got our scream. We're really going to have to tone down that scream, by the way. Um, so let's just go do that quickly. It's a bit much. Maybe I'll just change it all entirely. I'll just change it to an easy fuzz. There we go, fuzz. We gotta like, get some fuzz. Ooh, okay, maybe that's a bit too much fuzz. Uh, let's try this. Okay, that should be a little better. Okay, there we go. Now we click it again. We've got the chorus flanger. Okay, and then back to the original audio. So that's your cycler. And you can do this with any of the loops. The audio just gets sent to their different effects devices. That's the way it works. I'm going to move this back down now so that we know what's going on. All right. Now we can close all this stuff up. And we've got all of our effects, uh, five different effects, using just this one pad. We can go ahead and just relabel it. Effects. Uh, 
Okay, that's the way it works. I hope uh, hope that makes some sense, and I uh, hope you're able to use this to your advantage. Um, you can actually um, create more than just what we have here. You can go, you can create three more, create seven, eight, and nine, and then um, just duplicate this Thor, and then um, you know increase the amount of steps on the step sequencer to nine, and then just do the same little trick by using the note curve and the two curve um, CV values and parameters here to um, create as many effects as you want. You can really keep going with this. So I hope you enjoy that and uh, again come visit me at reason101.net. I will make this patch available um, probably tonight or tomorrow and uh, if you have any questions please feel free to write a comment on my blog. Thanks again for listening.